Hey guys, Ed Froelich with Ocean Deep Fishing. Good morning. Hey, we are on day two going out of Cape Canaveral. Uh, the wind's a little bit heavier today, so uh, hopefully we'd be able to at least get out to um, a couple of the buoys and the jetties. I don't think we're going to get offshore today where we want to go, but we'll see when we get out. A real quick thing I wanted to go over, things that I check before we go out. As you can see, we're parked. This is a staging area, this whole area. And uh, I know a lot of people bring their boats and they put them down at the ramp and they start loading their coolers and their, all their gear. And um, that's just rude um, to all the boaters. Um, have a little respect when you guys come uh, and you're going to put out. Load all your stuff before you get to the ramp. The ramp should be backing in, unloading the boat and pulling out. So everybody gets a chance, especially on a busy day. Um, today's not so busy, so you know it's not really of the utmost importance but anyway be respectful to all the boaters when you do and get down to the ramp all right so a couple things that I do we we have tie straps down here that hold the boat for the um, transportation those that come off double check and make sure your plug is in don't want to make a, st a mistake and back up and uh, pull the trailer out and realize oh crap my plugs not in and then uh, we're gonna get our we're going to pick a side. We're going to pick a side of the boat that we want to um, dock on, and we're going to put our cleats up, and we're going to put our mooring lines on, and uh, pretty much that's it. Make sure everything we had in the truck and the vehicle is put on the boat at this point, and then we're going to head out. So, anyway, stick around. I hope it's a good day. Wish us luck, and we'll see you out on the water. Go, babies, go! Sixteen inches. That is enough. All right. Well, it took a while, but I finally got a dang fish today. We're almost ready to go home. Let's <laughs> guys we made it out we're uh, fishing right next to the buoys right now um, seeing what we can pick up and uh, see if the weather calms down a little bit where we can run off shore a little bit but right now it's pretty rough all right first bait in for me Peggy already caught a fish caught a little Jack Carvel but we weren't ready for the cameras yet so didn't get it on record but anyway stay tuned we'll all right, Peggy, what did you just catch? I guess a Spanish mackerel. Yep, we got a Spanish mackerel. He's bleeding from the mouth. We got a Spanish mackerel right there. Oh, he's hopping. All right. They got to be 12 inches to the fork, which I'm pretty sure he's going to measure up. He's definitely longer than a ruler. fish he's too small to keep though but anyway there was a bunch of fish followed him up
Jesus. Hang on. Get the, she's got she's got a fish. Oh, another Spanish. He's a big one. Is he on the bottom again? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Another one. Probably another mackerel, the way it's fighting. No, there's a couple of them. Bluefish. There was a cup. Oh, he's bleeding. There was another fish that was following him. He must have been eating. He's making blood all over here. All right, well, we'll wash it off. That other fish must oh, have been Oh, yeah. Oh, I got one. That other fish must have been eating it. Finally. Big Ed caught a fish. Well, oh, maybe. A I got one on. Huh? It was probably a shark. Nice size mackerel. It is a nice That's mackerel. That's what was behind this one. Hey. Oh yeah, they're getting, them up. they're getting bigger. Look at that size there. Nice. Alright, that was a bluefish and a mackerel. Alright. <coughs> There's a <coughs> Nice mackerel Peggy just caught. That's definitely a nice keeper. So, yeah, we're still hanging around. <laughs> I don't want you to drop him on me. See the teeth? On yes. Him? That's why they cut you off. Another one. Lies. No, I'm good. I'm good. We'll throw him back. He's a little small. No. All the more is better. All right, guys, watch the pole for me. I gotta go take the Peggy's blue fish off. Do I have one? Oh yeah, I got I got a little one. Blue fish. No. Oh yeah, it's a blue. You might be keeping big enough to keep it down. Why chum? They're they're friggin' loaded up here now. It'd be just a waste of chum. We're getting so many of them right now. Take it. I had to take it to the other side of the boat. He uh, he ran over to the other side. Okay, there he is, guys. Spanish mackerel. Peggy just got one too. I measure this one. Double hookup, we had double hookup. Well, guys, I gotta tell you, the water temperature and everything must be just right because the Spanish are in. 
They're probably hot on the beach too. You guys uh, surf fish or uh, on the pier too. Peggy's got another one. Bluefish? Yeah. Nice one. I think he's a mackerel too. Yep. Oh, there's another one behind me too. Yep. Shrimp. There's another one. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna double check him, but I'm pretty sure he'll go 12. Oh yeah, 12 to the fourth. He's good. Yeah, they they're um. The mackerel, they're, uh, they run in packs too, so normally when you're bringing one up, there's several that are with it. Um, if you had a triple hookup fridge, um, you could probably bring in three at a time. Alright, let's try it again. Yeah, so guys, just uh, we're out of Cape Canaveral. Whoop, I'm getting a bite. We're out of Cape Canaveral. Um, we're at uh, Buoy 11. We're just fishing. There, there was a lot of uh, structure and fish on there this morning, so we just stopped here this is our first stop and we're still here and we've had a good day we put uh, I don't know how many fish in the box we've got to have at least a dozen fish in the box uh, so mackerel or 12 inch to the fork you're allowed to keep 15 each so oh, getting a bite getting a bite hang on let's see if we get oh missed him just drop it right back down if you didn't get your bait even if you didn't get your bait, if you have the jig on there, just jig like I'm doing. Sometimes they'll turn around and they'll hit the jig. If they're in a feeding mode. All right, I think you got the bait. Oh, oh, I got it on the way up. See, they like that. And it's a mackerel. Two of them up there. Oh, he's a little guy. We'll probably let him go. He's, uh, he's probably legal in length, but he's a skinny guy. He's got no meat on him. We'll let him grow up. There he is. Yeah, he, he might not even make 12 inches, but nice fighting fish. Woo! <laughs> he darted away pretty quick. All right, let me get Peggy hit, um, hooked up again. All right, we got another. Oh, it's a nice Spanish, too. Nice size. Oh, he's beating me up. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the teeth, can you see the teeth in there? We're not using any wire, so we've been getting cut off a couple times today, but it hasn't been too bad. But yeah, he's a nice fish. Ooh, look at those teeth. Pretty. Oh, oh are you serious? Uh, <laughs> boom, in the water, we lost him. Well, it was his lucky day. Well, that's how we give back, I guess. <laughs> All right, we'll start again. That was his lucky day. Yeah, it sucks when you lose one like that, but oh well. They're real slippery, so uh, I guess my tip to you would be hold on tight. You know, I just want to show you, look at the screen. That's how, that's how lit up it is today. It, it's been back and forth like that. Peggy's got one. What you got? Oh, bluefish. It's all like that. No, oh, you got some big ones in the cooler. Just a minute. Oh, he just knocked himself out. All right, good. Yeah, he broke my line. Okay, I got a fish on that I didn't know I had. Oh, and he's a big bluefish. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he did like. Peggy's did, he swallowed the hook. He broke it off. All right, guys, here's your tackle minute for the day. Um, all we've been using today is a little Shakespeare, like a 2000 uh, spinning reel. We've got um, 20 pound test line. This is mono, it's not braid. And we're fishing 
with the jig lure right there uh, was using red too and uh, the chartreuse but uh, for whatever reason they like the chartreuse they're not hitting with the red and then we're tipping it with the shrimp just going hang on a minute. we're just going through the tail like that and winding it around and boom that's our presentation uh, we've been getting a few cutoffs because we have no wire but the um, the presentation is more natural and um, they've been hitting and we've only lost uh, I think we only lost three or four fish to a cutoff so, uh, compared to what we have it's good odds all right let's go down and see and get another one oh. He's the other one. Let's see. Jig it and see. Oh, look, they're after. Look at. Oh, man. We're going to go with just the jig with no bait. Let's see if we can entice them because they're just chasing the hell out of it. What was taken? Spanish mackerel. Oh, yeah, I got one. Got one. No bait, just the jig. Just the jig. There he is. <laughs> That's so cool. I like that. He's little though. We're gonna let him go. They're juveniles. I don't think a real big one would would hit that without any bait on there. But yeah, that's what we caught him on. No bait. There he is. All right, no. Turn him loose. Oh, Peggy's got something. Oh yeah. It's fighting. Probably a bluefish. Probably. She's got the blue fish. Oh no, what is it, a jack? Oh yeah, got a little yellow jack. Oh yeah, another Spanish, woo! <laughs> Let's go back, oh crap. I got my line tangled up. That's fun, I'll bet you. All right, here's Peggy's. Oh no, that's not a jack. That's a um, a pompano or a permit. One of the two. I can't tell them apart. He's too little to keep. Oh yeah, that's a that's a pompano. I think is that a pompano or a permit? Comment in the take your hand in the comments the front there. Of it, so we yeah. Can see it. Oh wow. So if they're out here, that means they're off the beach, guys. If you guys are surf fishing, they're come. They're starting to come around. The water temperature is 72 right here today so it's up um four degrees from when we went a couple days ago yeah i think that was a pompano if i'm not mistaken they, they look so much alike alike without looking at a guide i can always i can never tell exactly which one is what but i'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments all right that didn't look like the african pompano. no it wasn't african all right no bait jig again. Let's see what happens. With them going like this, I gotta try my gotcha lure again. The first time I cast it out this morning, the first one they took on me, they cut me off. But I was only using 10 pound mono. This is 20 and it's a little stronger. So I might try a gotcha lure here in a minute. Oh yeah, he came and got it. He came and got it. What you got? What we got? Oh, it's another pompano. I got something too. Or is that a jack? No, this one's a jack. I'm assuming a bluefish. Yeah. Yeah, so we got a nice little jack. Alright, there's Peggy's bluefish. Blues are heavy today too. Well, we don't necessarily like the blues. We'll keep them if we're not catching anything else. But um, to make a good um, crab cake, I mean, uh, they make a good fish cake patty um, if you get them. Uh, but just eating them outright, I'm not so crazy about them. Another Spanish guy. So the uh, oh. Sorry about that. Um, I 
Oh! Ah, you're too slow. Old Gus tried to steal my, uh, he tried to steal my Spanish mackerel. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna try a sand flea now. These are frozen from, we had them live the other day, but um, they're frozen. I'm gonna see if that help, helps catch something or not. I know they weren't crazy about squid. Peggy tried some squid and they really didn't even want that. Yeah, and guys too, um, we got some cool stuff coming up in about a month. We're gonna be heading down to the Keys here shortly. Another nice Spanish. I jerked on the rod and he opened up his mouth. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, there's another one. I got a gr tight grip on him. I think he's 12 inches. Oh yeah, he's over 12. Not, not by much, but he's over. He's legal. All right. It's going. Hey, hey, you got another Spanish mackerel. Nice one. Oh, That's he, just, bait. he just spit the dang shrimp out at me. He's mad. All right. Oh, gross. Pat, get away. Sit. Pat, stop. Get away. It's a fit of blue, blue fish, but I got him in the damn tail. I snagged him. Peggy and I had an awesome day today. We've caught a lot of fish. Um, it was just a blast. Um, we went to the first spot that we stopped at and we stayed there all day. I mean, the fish were just one after the other. So um, we're bringing like, uh, I can't remember, I think it's either nine or 10 Spanish mackerel home. We caught a lot of blue fish. Um, Peggy caught her first pompano, which was too little. We had to throw it back. Um, lots of blue fish left and right. I think that was it for the day for the species. But but we caught a lot of fish so anyway uh we're going to end this video hopefully going to go back out again on thursday but uh thank you for spending the time watching the videos i hope you guys liked it as much as we enjoyed bringing it um give us a thumbs up that really helps our channel if you would please and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already we've got a lot of uh great content on so that'll wrap it up for today guys thank you so much until we see you next time, tight lines everybody. Take care, God bless, and be safe. Well guys, that's the catch for the day that we brought home. We caught a whole bunch more. But that's the daily catch. <laughs>